Hello everybody! Welcome back to Life is Strange. Let's do this! Like anybody does. Max is such No time a to talk, Max. I'm I think she can hear us. Dude, I'm right here, ho. I'm right here. Better be quiet, Victoria. We have a master snitch and liar here. Did you think we were best friends forever or something? Not at all, Victoria. Max is such an attention whore. You would know. Can I sit down now? Oh, please do. Take a selfie of this moment. Yeah, what? Max, so I won't forget you. Oh, isn't it great? Assholes. High school? Where did he- they left that quickly? What a good chance. I could punch you in the face. Oh, look! Still got the scratches. Take that home. Huh? That was amazing when Mr. Jefferson took a class picture the first week. Even though I didn't want to be in the picture at all, it was fairly fucking cool to watch him at work framing us. Oh, let's sit down. Gee, she really puts out a lot of shit on her desk. Okay, why is David taking wow. photos of Kate? Now this is so wrong and weird. Yeah, that's that's weird. Ah, <sighs> capturing the image. Is that him on the front? No, I don't think so. I don't know. Yo. What up, Max? Hey, Warren. I saw Kate earlier, and her eyes were puffy from crying. Kate has a lot on her plate. I didn't know what to say, and she, she didn't tell me anything. Okay, I know you love me, but if you're not in this class, beat it. Everybody else, please sit down. We have a lot to cover today, see you, so little time as usual. I see all the usual suspects here. Anybody seen Kate Marsh? I think everybody has seen Kate Marsh by now. <laughs> She's not feeling good. Sounds like you're giggling about a video gone viral. Maybe it involves a student or a friend. I wonder how it would feel to have false images of yourself shot out all over the world for people to judge. Usually. Sorry. No smartphones in class, Max. Oh, come on. Put that away. I'm not even good at sneaking. Lee, people need something to judge, so they never take a good look at themselves. We can thank reality TV for some of that. In the end, we can only blame ourselves for participating. Speaking of participation, there are a few souls here who have yet to enter a photo in the contest. Wow, look like right Caulfield, at me. Max Caulfield, for example. Oh my god. Who I know can't wait to enter, right? The pressure. I'm sure you read the syllabus like it was a Harry Potter book, so you must know today we're studying chiaroscuro. That beautiful word about the contrast between light and dark. Ooh. The shadow play that gives photography such visual power. It's basic yin and yang. Black and white images are effective precisely because of their contrast. Although we don't technically see in my- Yo! Some crazy shit is going down in the girl's dorm! Zachary, do not come into my class like that ever again. Listen, everybody remain seated. Dismissed. Fuck you, Mr. Jefferson. <laughs> Actually, this didn't seem like a bad lecture. Is this for real? It slipped out! I didn't think she was that messed up. Oh boy. Who is that up there? Kate! Wow. Oh no! Oh, no. I, I have to do something to help her. Dude! She can't die. She can't. Again. Not now. I have to try something. I won't Dude. be able to rewind again and again. Can I even stop this from happening? Am I even supposed to stop it from happening? That's the question. You can do it. 
See, I don't think she was ever meant to stop things from happening. You know what I'm saying? Oh, birds are in my way. Birds are in my way. That's probably why her head's hurting and why, you know, this is happening. Because this was never supposed to be something she was supposed to stop. But we're going to try to stop it anyway because I don't want Kate March to die. Oh, was that security? Huh. A little late to secure the area, aren't we? Alright, let's get over there. Yes. Jeez, I hope I could do this right. Jeez. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I don't have any power. Now I have to do this by myself? Max, seriously, don't come near me. I will jump. Okay, okay. I'm right here. Kate, please. Oh, Max, I know you want to help me. I love that you stepped up to David, but it doesn't matter now. Nothing matters. Things will get better. You matter not just to me. Oh God. Um. Uh, I'll say you matter not just to me. You matter, and not just to me. I do want to believe that. Kate, your life is still yours, and we can get through this together. Let me help. Like I helped by erasing all that crap people wrote on your room slate. I'm glad to hear you worry about me. That makes me feel better. Should I say you're my friend or I'm here for you? You're my friend. Of course I worry. You're my friend, Kate. I did feel better talking to you on the phone. I always feel like you really listen. Kate, please trust me. Come stand by me, okay? I can help you now. I know I can. This morning I erased the web link to the video. It was written on the shower room mirror. Are you serious? Thank you so much. The fact that you don't care about that video and would come up here to stop me means a lot. Um. Shit. I, I don't know if I should say Nathan is involved. I'm gonna say you were drugged because I feel like she needs to know it's not her fault. Let's do that. I care about you because I believe you were drugged. We will find out who did this and make them pay. You sound so persuasive, Max. If only... Kate, I believe you. Will you believe me? Please, you don't have to do this. Max, I'm in a nightmare and I can't wake up. Uh, unless I put myself to sleep. Then everybody at Blackwell can post pics of my body. I'm horny on the internet forever. No wonder they call it a web. Nothing can ever get out. Like my video. I wish I could go back in time and erase everything. There are billions of videos everybody will forget. Beach Strong. Uh, it's either Beach Strong or everybody will forget. Beach Strong sounds more convincing than everybody will forget. Nobody wants to hear everybody will forget when they're going through some shit. Kate, this is our chance to beat the bullies. That's the only way we can win against them. Can we really, Max? I don't believe in miracles anymore either. Now I do. You're part of the reason why. If you come down with me, I can tell you more. You're such a good person, Max. Even if you're full of crap. But I'll come with you. You're my friend. Holy Forever. crap! Can we hug on it? No. Nobody cares about me. Nobody. Okay, for a second I thought that just maybe, just maybe we got a, uh, we got some help. I'm gonna say your father. Kate, I saw that card from your father. You can count on him. He clearly loves you without question. Dad does care, even though I hurt him. He's the only one I know who believes in me.
Poor Kate. I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. What are you talking about? You saved me from talking in class. Now, I know today was difficult for everybody, but I'm so proud of the way Blackwell pulled together to save a young girl's life. What? Bitch, that was of me. Of course, you're quite a hero for getting Kate to come down, Max. I didn't do much. She's modest. Like a real hero. Yeah, real hero. Hate her. As principal of Blackwell Academy, I take my duties seriously. I take the well-being of every student more seriously. What happened today should never happen in a hall of wisdom and knowledge. Mr. Madsen, as our head of security here, those roof doors should always be locked. That's just standard operating procedure. They were not, and that is indeed your responsibility. Mm -hmm. Mr. Jefferson, I know you can't be expected to know what your students are going through, but Kate has assisted you in class, so you should have known something was amiss. Mr. Prescott, since you are responsible for the Vortex Club parties, and since Miss Marsh did attend your last party, you'll have to answer some more questions. Miss Caulfield, why exactly were you on the route with Kate Marsh? Did she tell you her plan? Or anything at all? Please, tell us everything. So I have these powers, right? Um, let's see. Oh my god, there's so many things I could say. I could fucking throw Jefferson under the bus, I could throw Nathan under the bus, or I could throw David under the bus. I don't have the footage for David, I don't have any evidence for Nathan, and I just witnessed Jefferson. Um, let's fuck everybody over and see how it goes. I saw Mr. Jefferson talking to Kate right before our class. Then she ran off crying. Mark, I do know that Miss Marsh has assisted you on class events. Kate, Miss Marsh has been very withdrawn lately. I assume this awful video was the cause. I hated seeing the students laugh at her. She told me Max was the only one who believed her, would take her calls and actually listen to her. She shouldn't have asked to be on video macking with some dudes. You ass! She didn't ask for any of this. No, on the contrary. Max was right to bring this up. Now, I wanted to help, but I guess I was too late. Well, now this is problematic. The publicity is rising, and perhaps you shouldn't represent Blackwell at the Everyday Heroes contest in San Francisco. Are you serious? I am. We don't need any negative press about that event. And we need to involve the Academy in possible disciplinary measures for you. I understand that. Damn. And there are bigger things at stake than me. The life of a young girl, for one. Maybe you should investigate other staff members. Max told me she knew things about Mr. Madsen. Let Max speak for herself. Everything we talked about here will be looked into. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm what you've told us. I'll continue this investigation from there. My head is killing me, but I think I can use my power again. Okay, so that's what happens if we screw over Jefferson. Let's see what happens if we screw over... Mr. Security. Damn, everybody just disappeared for half a second? All right. Mr. Madsen was bullying Kate. Oh, grow Excuse up. Excuse me, I was there. I saw you getting in her face. You have no idea what you saw. Kate Marsh was involved with a bad crowd. I was trying to find out who. Kate had a double life. I was super shocked when I found out. No, you were part of the crowd. And like I said, I personally saw David physically harass Kate Marsh. You lying little Shh. Are you going to take this troublemaker's word over your security officer? And he should take the word of somebody who harasses students? Max, I'm afraid this won't be solved here without proof and a thorough investigation. Now, if you have anything else to say. 
Damn it. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill herself. They don't need this forum right now. Yes, I'm kind of devastated right now. Oh yeah. I'd like to be with my family. All right, Miss Caulfield, please sign here to confirm. He'd like to be with his family and his fucking expensive million dollar goddamn house with his shitty ass dad who harasses me. You know what? I wish I could bring up the fact that I got a text from his father and he harassed me. Now, for the part I've been wanting to do, time to throw Nathan fucking Prescott under the bus. All I know is that Kate was at a party and Nathan dosed her. She got wasted and kissed some boys on a viral video without a clue. I dosed her? <laughs> without a clue. Have you seen the video? Whatever. Kate was loaded and You're a liar. The field. You told Kate you took her to the emergency room. I said I was going to take her to the ER. She sobered up eventually. Bullshit. Something happened to her and you know it. How about we talk about you waving a gun in the girl's hey, bathroom? Hey, that's total slander. I could <laughs> sue you and this school so fast. I already have a personal lawyer. Careful, Mr. Prescott. I have been told of this alleged gun incident, and I have to admit that the video in question was sent to me by multiple sources. Including me. And since Mr. Prescott does appear prominently in the video and was responsible for the party, I have no choice but to suspend him until further notice. Whatever. See you in court. Excuse me. I think Max and Nathan need a break before we grill them further. A friend and student just tried to kill her. Oh my god, this is such a Hold please sign. situation. Who should I screw? Um... Gotta think about this for a second. We screw over Jefferson. He no longer could do the Young Heroes competition. However, he exposed the security. Sort of. If we expose Any security, day, Max. hang on. It's so nice to hang out here in this office. Wait a minute. If we expose security, we got no evidence, so that doesn't really go anywhere. And if we expose Nathan Prescott, we already have been building a case against him. So technically, getting him out of the school wouldn't be a bad idea. I am torn between Jefferson and Prescott. I kind of want to screw over Nathan, but he's rich, and honestly, it doesn't feel like it's going to really do much. All he does is get suspended, and then his dad is probably going to fucking hit me with his goddamn car, you know? So let me think. Um, Jefferson has a point, though. If I screw over Jefferson, he kind of took it in stride. He wasn't that mad. He does mention the fate of security. Fuck. This is a fucking hard one, you guys. I think the last time I did this, Just I actually- sign this and you're done with this episode of Law and Order. Hang on a minute. Give me a second. I'm trying to think of what's the best solution here. Oh! Uh, the Prescott thing doesn't seem like it's gonna make much of a difference. I mean, having him out of school would be good, but... Uh... Shit! Fucking decisions. See, I'm running through it because I actually played this before, so I'm trying to figure out which would be the best solution. And I'm seriously considering screwing over Jefferson. I'm thinking I might just screw over Jefferson. What do you guys think? Oh, what? Well, it doesn't matter. Because by, <laughs> by the time you guys see this, I would have already made a decision. Damn it. You know what? We'll come back to this in the next part of Life is Strange. And then then. The sooner I sign this bullshit paper, the sooner I can get out of here. Never mind. We're just going to sign a damn paper. Well, I think we know less now than when we started. Oh, that's great. We'll be assisting the police with further inquiries. I know this has been a stressful day. I wish I had the power to change it all for the better. Oh, I have the power. So thank you for coming in.
Did get Nathan out though? It's kind of worth my time. I kind of chose to screw over Nathan Prescott because we were already screwing him over to begin with. Let's just continue the screwing. I couldn't even believe it was happening. It was literally slow motion as I grabbed her hand. And then I could feel her grabbing mine. Max, that was the greatest thing I've ever seen. Ever! You reached out, she reached out, hugs, tears, applause, like a superhero. Not quite. Look at me. I'm a mess. You're glowing. Seriously, a human halo. I'm pretty sure you earned your wings today. I'm still worried about Kate. She did try to kill herself. <laughs> All over a video. Viral is the right word. Like a disease. So you watched it? Just one. And a half times. Ew, would you get off of that? Lauren, I don't mean to sound weird, but... There's something ominous going on at Blackwell. Today proves that. And I'm working on proof that Kate Marsh is connected to Rachel Amber. Somehow. Along with Nathan and Mr. Madsen. I'm not a big conspiracy guy, but I wouldn't doubt it. Nathan did scare me yesterday, and Madsen is a straight-up dickhead. So, what do you think is really happening? What the hell is this? The weather confirms this weird day. <sighs> Feel that chill. Max, there was no eclipse scheduled today. I would know. I would. I believe you, Warren. I'll believe anything this week. talking about don't hug him he's a jerk oh boy what is he doing oh okay first I thought he was doing something else you know what I'm saying Eclipse does look really cool though. Let's find out what's going on together. Whew. The eclipse does look beautiful, though. I didn't admit that much. You know, in my area, apparently there was just too many clouds to watch it anyway, so... It was hard to tell what was going on. Oh shit, there's a book on Kate. Look at them pills! I'm like trying to act like I haven't seen this before. It's not working. I'm sorry, you guys. <laughs> anyway, that is the end of episode two. 
Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next part and the next episode of Life is Strange. Miss Grant busted me flying it over the parking lot. She's all jacked up about surveillance bullshit. Like I was spying on Warren's new car. You already planted a GPS on him? I borrowed the one he has on you. What? Wait, what? I hate to hit and run, but don't let me get in your way. So long. Alright, but well, I, I I feel like you tried to take a hit at me, but whatever. Whatever. Okay. Okay, there should be a camera moment somewhere.